Okay, I'm at Wilcombe Street now, uh, the Stafford Street end of Wilcombe Street. The Iraqi hostel is there uh, at the start of uh, Wilcombe Street. I'm going to walk up the right hand side of Wilcombe Street and take some videos, shots of the businesses across the road and then we'll come back down the other side again. On the left hand side here as we start it's called Fit, Fit Biz. Fit Biz. They hire out uh, fitness equipment. Alongside Fit Biz is a, is a business called Knit Pearl but they're uh, no longer there. They're down on Stafford Street now. Bit of history to this uh, building. I owned it for 16 years before the National Government of New Zealand put me out of business with their Employment Relations Act, which was one-sided. That's another story. Alongside uh, Knit Pearl's old building is the Timaru Dental Laboratory. Timaru Dental Laboratory. Timaru Radiator Repairs. Timaru Radiator Repairs are in there. This three-story building is called Wilcombe House. Wilcombe House, number 18 Wilcombe Street. It used to be the Power Board. Let's go over and have a look and see who's in there now. Here's the sign for Wilcombe House. The top floor is Noon Ford Simpson Limited, Chartered Accountants. Then there's Wars. Middle floor is Morris, Matthew & Co. Financial Solutions Canterbury, Tax Link, Taxation Accountants, FMG, Advice and Insurance, Community Dental Clinic, Child Development Service, South Canterbury, District Health Board, Crown Floor and the Ground Floor Primary and Community Services, District Nursing, Public Health Nursing and Community and Public Health. We come to a street called Barnard Street on the corner of Wilcombe Street. Yes, this is the former South Canterbury uh, Power Board and it's good to see it's been utilised again now. Wilcombe House is, is, is a new name and uh, a lot of government departments in there, which is good to see. Curtain Decor Limited. Curtain Decor Limited for all your cur curtain supplies. Video Easy. This is where you hire your your videos at a business called Video Easy on Wilcombe Street. This is an old house, and um, the owner of this building uh, is it's Port FM. This is a Port FM radio station. You can't see the name of the building because it's behind a tree. Why would anyone want to have a, a commercial building and put a sign up called Port FM and put the sign behind a tree? I can't understand that. This used to be an old house. And, uh, yeah, cut the tree down, Brent. Yeah, I went and told them that they, to tell Brent, who owns the business, to cut the tree. And she said, we've already told him, but it doesn't make any difference. Unbelievable. There's the New Zealand Fire Service Station, Timaru. Nice handsome looking building there where all the firefighters do the training and that. There's the fire engine thing there, the high building. Over here we have the IWOF MU 5308. I'm not too sure what that building it was. It must be some sort of a lodge, I think. 43 will construct, someone might be able to tell me. On the corner of uh, Wilcombe Street and Barnard Street is Plumbing World. Plumbing World. On the opposite corner is Mitsubishi Motors. Mitsubishi Motor Motors. There's the service centre there. I think the building alongside it is empty. Engine Overhaul Services Workshop. Engine Overhaul Services Workshop. 
This used to be a dairy many years ago. It's now all boarded up and there's a guy who lives in this, or used to live in it, don't know whether he still does. Yes, he used to live upstairs there. I'm not too sure whether he still does. Not too many years ago, this car park here used to be a car sales. We're going to take you and show you the back of these buildings in another video. On the corner of Stafford Street and Wilcombe Street is Turkish Kitchen and Takeaways. Turkish Kitchen and Takeaways. So there it is. That is Wilcombe Street. Wilcombe Street.